Hello learners, welcome back to live class. What we discuss about the degrees of elasticity of demand. So, in which we have covered up two degrees. First is perfectly inelastic demand and the second is less than unit elastic demand. Next category is unit elastic demand. What it talks about? The percentage change in quantity demanded and percentage change in price of commodity must be equal to each other. Okay. Have a look on this table. When the price of the commodity is rupees 20, what we see? Forty units of commodity is demanded. When the price has gone up, becomes rupees thirty. Now twenty units are being demanded. How we can interpret this? So simple. Do not go on the basis of the data. You can calculate this. ED is equal to suppose fifty percent change in quantity demanded has taken place due to 50% change in price of that commodity. In this situation, what we see that? Both are cancelled and ED becomes equal to 1. So, this is what we say, unitary elastic demand. Bahut sare aise commodities hain. जिसका आप एग्जांपल ले सकते हो अपनी डे टू डे लाइफ में कि परसेंटेज चेंजेस जो है वो हमने इक्वेट किया है खर्च को उस तरह से एडजस्ट किया है डिमांड को उस तरह से एडजस्ट किया है कि जितनी परसेंट चेंज होती है किसी कमोडिटी के अंदर उतनी चेंज आती है क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ दैट कमोडिटी तो दिस इज वॉट वी से यूनिटी इलास्टिक डिमांड यू कैन टेक एनी डाटा फॉर कैलकुलेशन ED is equal to suppose 25 percent changes has taken place in quantity demanded due to 25 percent change in price of that commodity both are cancelled what we get one that is ED is equal to one. So what happens in this that has been depicted with the help of diagrammatic presentation clear next to this. more than unit elastic demand. Okay, what happens in this? In this stage, what we, what you find? The percentage change in quantity demanded, it means that ED is equal to Suppose percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to 50 percent because of 25 percent change in price of that commodity. Okay. So, when the price is under 150, what you see that? 100 units of that commodity is demanded. Now, price becomes rupees 100, price falls. That is quite obvious that the consumer will demand a large quantity of that commodity. Okay. So, the quantity demanded of that commodity is 400 units. So, the same will be percentage value will be depicted on this and you will find that 2 which is equal to 2. It means that ED is greater than 1. All these will help you to do the some numerical problem and understand the concept of degrees of elasticity numerically. Okay? 
Let us come to the next and the last degree of elasticity of demand. That is perfectly elastic demand, which I told you that the theoretical concept only, imaginary concept, because demand cannot be uh, up to the level of, demand for any commodity cannot be up to the level of infinity, because we must consider the situation that supply of resources are limited in nature. So it is just like an imaginary concept which help us to understand the theoretical aspects of the various concept of microeconomics. Okay, but practically such a situation is not found. What you see that price remains the constant and quantity demanded changes, 2 units, 4 units and so on, 6 units, 8 units, 5 units like that. Okay, so what we see that the nature of demand curve is just like parallel to OH axis. And what happens? Price remains the same, but quantity demanded increases. Clear? First case mein kya dekha tha? Perfectly elastic mein price changes, but quantity demanded remains constant. So just keep in your mind, for your memory, remembrance, what you see that? Just keep the two extreme in your mind and on the basis of that you can recall the various degree of elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand greater than 1, less than 1 and equal to 1. These are the practical situation which we found, uh, we, which we find in our day to day life. Now the question arises. You might be asking the some question like how the degrees and of elasticity or the price elasticity of that of any commodity can be measured. What are the various methods through which we can measure the elasticity of demand? So there are three uh, methods to calculate the numerical value of elasticity of demand. First is percentage or proportionate method. Second is income, uh, second is geometrical or point method. And third is total outlay method, total expenditure methods. So what you will recall in your mind that there are three methods to measure the elasticity of demand. The first is percentage or proportionate method. Second is geometric or point method and the third one is total outlay or expenditure method, methods. Let us take up all these methods one by one. Ek ek karke hum log isko samjhenge ki kaise calculate karna hai. Clear? From mathematical portion hoga. So keep in your mind first to understand how the elasticity of for any commodity will be measured and what, met, what method is relevant and what method is suitable for your daily practices, things like that. So let us take up the first percentage or proportionate method. Now, on the basis of def definition, you know that the price elasticity of demand AD is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price of that commodity. I have started the slides in the beginning of the Now, we will calculate this basis here. We consider the price of the commodity AD is equal to suppose initial quantity of any commodity that is equal to Q. 
and new quantities new quantities q1 ठीक है how it could be possible because of change in price of that commodity okay so change in quantity demanded change in quantity demanded is equal to that is written as a symbol delta q which is equal to q1 minus q okay in the similar way we calculate the change in price of the commodity so what we have done that percentage change in quantity demanded we have taken delta q upon q परसेंटेज चेंज कैसे निकालते हैं चेंज इन द इनिशियल अमाउंट इन टू हंड्रेड सो नाउ पुट द वैल्यू डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन क्यू दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन ओवर इन इंटू हंड्रेड तो दिस वे यू कैन बी एबल टू दिस वे यू कैन बी एबल टू find the value of percentage change in quantity demanded clear now in the same way percentage change in price okay what we see that next to this नवीनतम शैक्षिक तकनीक का प्रयोग एन का सदैव एक दे रहा है मुक्त विद्यालय शिक्षण में सूचना तकनीक के साथ सार्थक नवाचारों से गुणवत्ता परक शैक्षणिक विस्तार के साथ आत्मनिर्भर भारत निर्माण की संकल्पना को बल देते हुए एन ने शिक्षार्थियों को गुणवत्ता ओके लर्नर्स नेक्स्ट टू दिस हाउ वी फाइंड दर्सेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस Again, we will take initial price. Initial price is P is equal to P, and new price that is equal to P one. Now change in price is equal to P one minus P. Okay, so this way we can find this value, and we can go through. the process like this and it will help you in the calculation of the numerical value of exercise so this way we find the change in price delta p upon delta uh, initial p into q okay now next to this therefore we take the percentage i mean uh, we take the formula into consideration Percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price of that commodity. Now take delta Q upon delta uh, Q into hundred upon delta P upon P into hundred, which is equal to what? Delta Q upon Q into P upon delta P. So what we find? थोड़ा सा इसको एडजस्ट कर ले हम लोग डेल्टा पी को इस साइड ले ले तो दैट इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा पी 
into P upon Q. This is what is the value of elasticity formula for the elasticity of demand that can be written in that way delta Q upon delta P into P upon Q. Okay. So, what we see that delta Q is equal to change in quantity, Q is equal to initial quantity, delta P is equal to change in price and P is equal to initial price. So, this way we can be able to find the formula for the percentage or proposed net method of calculating elasticity of demand. Okay. Next to this. Total outlay or expenditure method. Now, basically, this concept is propounded by Professor Marshall. He has suggested three ways to calculate the degree of elasticity of demand. He does not consider the extreme value ED is equal to 1, uh, sorry, ED is equal to 0 and ED is equal to infinity. He considers only three situations ED is greater than 1, ED is equal to 1 and ED is less than 1. It means that ki how a consumer is spending his income uh, uh, on purchasing of goods and services and what quantity the consumer is purchasing out of that income, now it shows ki uske expenditure or commodity ke price mein variation or quant ke, uh, quantity ke price mein variation ke beech mein kya relationship hai. It means that the basic thing is there, total expenditure means what? We consider total expenditure, expenditure that is equal to price into quantity. Ye basic thing hai, I share kar raha hu, aapko aage aayega ye explanation ke andar. It means that we have studied the price of goods and its quantity demanded are, in, are inversely related. So, the responsiveness of the demand in relation to change in price that is price elasticity of demand determines the change in expenditure. We can consider the following cases. Clear? Let us discuss the cases first. Elasticity is less than 1. What happens in this case? Just to go through this right up. When the demand for a commodity is less than unit elastic, a fall in price leads to fall in total expenditure. A rise in price leads to rise in total expenditure. It means that the fall in price of any commodity leads to fall in total expenditure. It means that both are moving in the same direction. Suppose the rise of price is there of any commodity, now what happens? Total expenditure also rises. Okay, so what we see that the price price of any commodity that is in rupees and total expenditure of any commodity that is suppose price is there P is falling what we see that total expenditure T is also falling and opposite to this price is moving in upward direction what we see that T is moving in upward direction so whenever the situation comes in that way now, it is quite obvious to understand that the elasticity of demand is less than 1. Okay? Now, let us see with the help of a schedule. Have a look on this.
in that way what we see that have a look on this that is when the price of a commodity is 12 rupees the quantity demanded 10 and total expenditure is 120 when price falls quantity demanded increases as per the rule of demand but total expenditure is 110 again price fall becomes rupees 8 12 quantity of a commodity are demanded and the total expenditure is 96 then what we see that fall in price leads to fall in total expenditure and opposite to this rise in price leads to rise in total expenditure so this is what we say that elasticity less than 1 next to this elasticity is more than 1 what happens when the price of any commodity, the demand for a commodity is more than unit elastic, a fall in price leads to rise in total expenditure and rise in price leads to fall in total expenditure. It means that the rise and fall in price, the total expenditure will move in opposite direction. Suppose the price has rise price has risen what we see that if price leads to fall in total expenditure rise in price suppose price of any commodity rises now what we see that the total expenditure falls and vice versa let us verify with the help of a schedule Okay, elasticity is more than unit elastic. Suppose price of commodity is rupees 12. 10 units are being demanded that is equal to 120. When price falls becomes rupees 10, 14 units have been demanded and the total expenditure is 140. 8 rupees 20 units 160. What we see that the fall in price leads to increase the total expenditure that is fall in price fall in price leads to Now what we see that the time is over and the rest of the topic will be discussed in the next class. Okay, so learners you just go through all these things and just try to understand the mathematical application of the concept of supply in your day to day life. Okay, wish you all the best.